Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, and this time reviewing on Guardians of the Galaxy, issue number one. Now this one tells the origin of how Star Lord came to be. Now let's get on the story. Starts off in space, where on the planet Earth, a ship is showing up, coming down, where a woman is going, where a woman is by the port saying, no, I'm not going to call him. It's not better than being alone. No! Don't you see how much it hurts my feelings that you take the side of a stranger over me? So, the ship crashes where a young woman sees a man coming out. And so, she goes to see if he's alright. Even points a gun at her, but talks in alien language and passes out. After waking up, she notices that she has a gun, but he explains that he's from another world, and that he means her no harm. So pretty much over the course of the last few years, they spend time fixing the ship, having dinner together, showing the stars, fixing the ship, and even growing, going to love each other. Soon they start to feel fat, Passing it for each other, but afterwards, it points out that the ship was fixed, was was still fixed, but he still wanted to stay with her, but has to go back to his home world in order in order to take on whatever's happening, and so he leaves her. But then she realizes she feels a kick in her stomach, which turns out she's pregnant. So we and turns out the father was actually was actually Star, Wars, Star Lord's father, known as Peter Quill. Where pretty much him and his mum don't get on as much. But he even points out that, that he has no idea who his father is. And he even goes saying, Oh, Dad! Dad! Stop it! I told you to stop saying that! I told you! God! And you think about it, shouldn't she tell him the truth right away if she's getting it, when he gets older? I mean, something like this would feel personal to him. So, meanwhile at the school, on the playground, Peter Quill and his friend are talking. Well, some students are being racist to a young girl. And this is about to threaten her. Peter Quill shows up to defend her. Where he takes him down. But, after the, but, but one of the school teachers... Um, show up to stop him from going too far. Afterward, Peter Quill leaves to go to his room and get and get washed up for dinner. This is this is then three lights show up, and this is she thinks it's her former love. She realizes that they're alien creatures, and then they blast her down. After seeing her dead body, Peter Quill runs quickly into the room and then looks for a handgun but takes down two of the aliens. But then he sees something else. His father's element blaster. And so after getting out of the house alive, the house blows up. Peter Quill manages to get out in time but get hurt. So afterwards, Peter Quill is taken to a hospital where the doctors think it was just a gas leak of some sort. And they also think it's a toy gun. And meanwhile, Peter Quill talks about how he got his gun and how he came to be by his teammates, the Guardians of the Galaxy. And so they take off to places unknown. And that's the story. So what do you think? It's a pretty good first issue. Not good, but still great, but hey, what the hell. So, it deserves a thumbs up. So, Comic Review here, signing out.